All right, is there anyone out there that can maybe help me understand what in the actual hell is going on with Zach Brown? So first we get the new record from the Zach Brown band, which is titled The Owl. And in my opinion, it's a straight pop record. From songs like Someone I Used to Know, Need This, and the one titled OMW. Really, OMW? You're not 12, Zach. Just call it on my way. All right, so also you got the song from the Owl titled God Given. Now, Zach Brown tries his hand at hip hop on this song, and it should have never happened. Ugh, it just should have never happened. I think most of you have been thinking the same thing and can agree on it, but hey, to each his own, and for the ones that don't, that's on you. Let's face it, the cover art for the Owl is a picture of everyone who is in the Zach Brown band, right? Well, the crazy thing is that I can't understand is how any of those members got any playing time on the new album because a laptop and a keyboard seems like they could have made the new record happen regardless. But moving on. Unfortunately, it doesn't end there with Zach Brown. On September 27th, Zach Brown released a surprise solo album titled The Controversy. And boy, is it controversial. According to Rolling Stone, a press release described it as Zach Brown's first ever solo pop album. <laughs> yeah, because it's not the band's first pop album. I think the Al took care of that. But anyways, there is one song on Zach Brown's new solo album that is just so cringeworthy, and that is the song titled Swayze. This song opens with the lyric, I can't be your Tom Cruise, bitch. I'm Patrick Swayze. Really? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and shake out the chills, because it's pretty rough to hear. The lyrics get even more off the wall when later in the song, Zach Brown raps the words, Every time I get a new bitch, I need a new bitch. I'm just saying, I'm so Swayze. Ugh. Alright, the lyrics are not the only thing that will make your skin crawl, but the poppy slash hip hop beat that goes along with it as well. I just can't make sense of it all. The other crazy thing is, remember, this is the same guy, Zach Brown, okay, who called out Luke Bryan a while back on Vancouver's radio station 93.7 for Luke Bryan's single, That's My Kind of Night. Zach Brown said, there's not a lot of the country format that I really enjoy listening to. If I hear one more Tailgate in the Moonlight, Daisy Duke song, I'm gonna throw up. There's songs out there on the radio now that make me ashamed to even be in the same format as some other artists. Hmm, that's interesting. He goes on and says, I love Luke Bryan and he's had some great songs, but this new song is the worst song I've ever heard. I think Zach might want to reconsider what the worst song really is. He continues and says, I see it being giant commercially, successful within what is called country music these days, but I also feel like the people deserve something better than that. Well, time has passed and the owl has now been released by the Zach Brown band. I get that his new album has been called a solo pop album, but The Owl was not. The Owl was supposed to be country, and I can tell you it's far from that, and it almost makes Old Town Road look pretty country. After hearing The Owl and Swayze, I would take any Luke Bryan song over what I have recently heard from the Zac Brown band and Zac Brown himself any day. Can't believe that these guys have went from beautiful songs like Highway 20 Ride Remember that? And, and now to whatever this new stuff is. If you haven't listened to Zach Brown's new song, Swayze, just take a moment out of your day. Trust me, it, it's so cringy that it's, that it's worth listening to. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and turn those notifications on for breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.